Big Board Sports with Roger Wyland. Well, a very good evening, everybody. The Sacramento Kings with a chance to protect the home court advantage in their best of seven first round series against the Golden State Warriors. Game two got underway about an hour or so ago, and the Golden One Center was rocking. The Kings making their first playoff appearance in 17 years. Get me a bucket, Kevin, and and he does right there. Heard it connects on the eight footer for his first bucket of the game, and then Kevin trying to find rhythm from deep and he knocks down his first three in the second quarter giving the Kings a 33 to 27 lead and then Herter after struggling to score in game one he only had six points has nine points at the half on four of eight from the floor and the Kings have the lead 58 52 they're at halftime just about ready to start quarter number three and speaking of Herter how about this story Kevin's sister Megan two-time member of our News Channel 13 All-Star team from Shenandoah announcing on Twitter, Twitter earlier tonight that she is transferring from Providence College to the University at Albany, where she will have two years of eligibility remaining. Head coach Colleen Mullen lands a very good player from the transfer portal, and we like that last name, Herder. All right, round one of the NHL playoffs. Game one goes to Carolina, who used two power play goals in a big third period penalty kill to beat the New York Islanders tight by the final of two to one. Patriots Day in Boston also means morning baseball. Red Sox lost to the Angels five to four. Hunter Renfro first inning three run homer the difference there and the Mets are up five three on the Dodgers in LA in the fifth. Daniel Vogel back with a two run homer for New York again they're in the fifth inning. The Albany Empire opened its season exactly the way we thought they would with a convincing win over Orlando on Sunday afternoon at MVP Arena, but only 3,200 fans were in attendance to watch it. Once ownership gets on the same page, and they're not just yet, and that includes uh, part owner Antonio Brown, things will change. Average attendance for arena football in Albany should be anywhere between seven and 9,000. Having a seven-time Pro Bowl wide receiver in charge should help, and it does, but a marketing plan is also needed for the Empire to take that next step and putting more fans in the seats. One thing we learned on Sunday, the Empire two-time defending national champ will win a few more games this season. Maximum effort is all we're preaching. Uh, we work it together. As, those, we, we, we trust each other. So it's not about one person. It's all collective. And we're trying to get one job done. Let's get back to the promised land and protect what's ours. So that's what we're doing. For me, uh, last year was my first year here. So I need I need the back to back this year. But yeah, everybody everybody's going to give us their best shot. I mean, we kind of have that uh, notoriety, I guess. But everybody's going to give us their best shot. And we definitely have a chip on our shoulders uh, every week. And finally, the Philadelphia Eagles are making quarterback Jalen Hurts the highest paid player in terms of average annual salary in NFL history. The Eagles and Hurts have agreed to a five-year, $255 million extension, including $175 million guaranteed. Deshaun Watson's $230 million deal he signed last year with Cleveland is still the biggest in terms of guaranteed money. The 24-year-old Hurts earned that contract last season when he threw for 3,700 yards and 22 touchdowns. He also rushed for 760 yards and 13 TDs. All right. Good chunk of good. chain right, right there good for Mr. Chunk Hertz. Of chain. Absolutely. Thank you, Roger. Last week of our weather here, we got a little bit of everything. A little bit of some spotty rain.